Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're covering a game that is just in, as it says on the screen, early beta. This is called Let's Build a Zoo. And it's a fun little game. I've already played through all of what the beta has to offer. And so I'm going to do it again and showcase some of what the game has to offer in general. So first thing, we've got an avatar and the justification for the beta. The regular zookeeper is out for two weeks and we're taking over for that time. So we're going to take this person and enter a name for the zoo. Uh, we're gonna go with Zamiria. And here is our little zoo. So it's pixel-based art style here and you get tasks in the game that you have to complete in addition to just building the zoo how you want. This is all pretty standard stuff here. We're gonna hold there, we're gonna look at the tasks. We managed to look at the task, which was one of the tasks. And now we gotta build an enclosure. And the enclosures are pretty basic here. This is not going to be Planet Zoo. This is not even Zoo Tycoon levels of intricacy when it comes to building those. That's not the main focus of the game and we're gonna build a nice little exhibit over here. You can make interesting shapes if you want with this but we're just gonna do a very standard box there. And now apparently the Australian Zoo has too many animals there so one of the things in this in this game is trading with zoos all over the map and they've got too many rabbits and as we all know rabbits are going to going to multiply very quickly so we have rabbits now and we're going to deliver them to our grass enclosure and so now we can open up the zoo we get the button right there and now we can get people coming in, and we've got the rabbits coming in, and now things have opened up a little bit. So first thing I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be building some pathways that the guests are going to ignore. Because that's just how guests are. That's very simple there. Any, any building, any exhibit can be moved about, so we're going to move... Our facility there then we can select the guests see energy sanitation hydration bathroom animals attractions I'm leaving there isn't anything else to do that is correct there isn't anything else for us to do just yet so let's change that we're gonna put in a drink vendor I'm gonna rotate it right there I'm gonna put the snack vendor in as well right next to it so at the moment this is all pretty standard stuff here they're asking for a gift shop I don't uh, have a gift shop yet so we can change that we'll make a gift stand and we're gonna put it over here and now we have limited time quests as well in the game that you can do uh, they're asking us to build a research office before the end of the day and we're gonna do that and we've got the news report on us doing that uh, we're gonna hire a shopkeeper I'm gonna pay them a lot because I want them to be happy and we've got the research hub and the research hub is gonna be back here we're also gonna pay pay him a lot keeping staff happy is a fair amount so this is pretty standard as I said what you expect from a management type game. There is a fair amount of depth to this. I'll show that by looking in at the gift shop here that we can manage. And we see they're selling magnets. We see the sell price. We can manage that. We And then we've got the adjust recipe material. So we can adjust it from plastic to enamel and back there. It keeps track of the profits, the visitors. A lot of cool stuff here. And we've completed that task, so... I'm going to get $250 per day for 14 days. And there's going to be more and more tasks that come out here. But, 
this exhibits a little bear at the moment. So we're going to add in a water trough. And we're also going to move this water pump way over here so it covers more of the map. And you got to keep track of these things because they need water. But they also could use enrichment. Unfortunately, we don't have any enrichment. That's what the research is for. Dorothea... Doretha? I guess that's Doretha, not Dorothea. Uh, is gonna be doing some research, and then maybe we can get some enrichment in for uh, Waldo and Baron. Very nice. And Baron just hiccuped. So that's the basic gist at the moment. But if you look up at the top here, you can see the date, you can see the zoo closes at 5 p.m., and then you see morality. And morality is an interesting concept in this, because you don't generally get that in other zoo or management-related games. Yeah, you could, you could do some really shady things in this game. Now, you don't get into a lot of them in the beta, but you get some of them. And then you got the money, you can speed up time, the park rating at the moment, we've got 100 on facilities and 10 on attractiveness. And there are zero guests at the moment because, well, actually, no, there's, the zoo doesn't close yet. Now the zoo closes, and it speeds through the night so that you go to the next day, total days in business, current cost, lifetime profit, all good things to have. And now we should build a storeroom, they're telling us, but we actually have had a berth. Uh, say hello to Bullet. Bullet has joined there. And now we have the research. And this is where we've got this animal enrichment. That's that's an important start here. Now, we could unlock a toilet, but I mean, do we really need that over tall pine trees? And then we need two points to get that slushy shop. So that's my next goal. But we also have these... Oh, we've got the welfare report here. So this is going to be, I assume, like an annual or even a monthly thing. You only get this at one one time in the beta and it's, it's always going to be a C. Unless you somehow cheat the game in there. But I'm noticing some trash around. So, of course, we got, uh, where are the trash cans? I know the trash cans are here. There we go. We've got the giraffe bin. So we're going to put a giraffe bin here, and we're going to put one here. So hopefully they'll take care of their trash. No one's hungry. No one's dead. Adding animals is not necessary. Water is good. Enrichment is low. And now we had that research so we can actually add in a little ball. Go play with the ball, rabbits. And now if we go back to the world map here, we can see some of the flashing ones here. We can make some trades. In this case, we could potentially trade a rabbit to get two horses. We can also buy rabbits from the animal shelter. And then the Japan Zoo is looking for a rabbit for some capybaras. Fun deals. And personally, I think capybaras are a little more interesting than horses. So what I'm going to do is we're going to be building a new exhibit. Oh, nope, that's, that's more path. I don't want the path. I want the exhibit. Exhibit. Can I not build the exhibit? What's going on? There it is. And there's the exhibit that shall be the Capybara exhibit. And we're going to trade bullet to the Tokyo Zoo. Select. And we have a couple capybaras now. Turn to the zoo, and they're going to be going to this grass enclosure, 
And before they get here, let's make sure they've got some water. And we've made it to a new day. And some enrichment, specifically a ball. Because that's all we have at the moment. But we do have the chance to do a little more research. And we're going to do that with the slush, slushy shop. And then, perhaps my favorite one... I want to get that trampoline for animal enrichment, but we don't quite have enough points. So I gotta wait for that to become three points. And now... We can build some trampolines. And you bet I'm giving... Giving the rabbits a trampoline. And watch that- See, <laughs> it's so fun! <laughs> I, I love it. And you can do that for every animal. It's, so the rabbit's jumping on it might make sense. And they're going very speedy. Let's say it at full speed. Or at maximum speed. I'm not sure why the rabbits are honking. It's, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> and the capybaras are coming in three hours. Now we've they're still getting this trash up, so I'm gonna look at getting a janitor. And here, we can start searching for people there, and we can post on social media. We can go to the job portal, but that costs more money, so we're just gonna leave it alone for the moment. And then we can manage ticket prices. Uh, some people will refuse to buy tickets if, if the price is too high. Not sure what price would be too high. Oh, we got to 25 customers, so we finished that task, and we got some money. And we're going to build a slushy shop, because, well, we all know we need a slushy shop. And we got another shopkeeper to handle that. Come on, slushy shop. Bring in the dough. Mm -hmm. And Lucy, energy is pretty low. Sanitation is there. Oh yeah, they their energy gets low very quickly. And that's why you gotta put some benches around. So they've got places to sit. If they don't have places to sit, they just... They just drag their feet around so slowly. And we're closing in on getting those capybaras. We're gonna speed things along so we can get them quicker. And in comes the helicopter! Ah, and now we've got Joe, the exotic animal dealer. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a purposeful naming one. Wish it had more exhibits. Well, we don't really. We don't have those. Right? I'm trying to. So, Joe Exotic is actually a guest somewhere. I just gotta find him. And when I find him. Now, we can buy animals. Buy exotic animals from questionable sources. We can also sell any of our animals into the market. So. They have a goose source for sale. And we are definitely going to get this goose source. Did I ever build that storeroom thing? I don't think I did. Yeah, there's the, there's the storeroom. Apologies, animals. You've been starving this entire time and I've done nothing. You know, like a real zoo. And the Gusor is coming in a day. We have an applicant. So, yeah, it it seems like it would be less in-depth than it is. But it's honestly... There's a lot to do, and I bet the full game is going to have even more. So let's look at the tasks. We finished the task of buying from the, the market there. Hire a janitor. I just did hire a janitor, actually. So that's perfect. So now we're just looking to get 
more and more guests, and if they're not here to see a goo source, I don't know what they what they're doing. But I want to give them an exhibit to actually see said goo source in. Now I don't horses need a lot more space, but this is a goo source, not a regular horse. So I'm not sure if it'll need more space, but I'm going to give it a lot of space anyway. Yeah, and we can cancel the order, but then then it doesn't it doesn't go. Oh, the capybaras don't have a trampoline yet. That is a big oversight. Come on, there's your there's your trampoline. Very nice. And this person wants a lot of animals in the zoo. Well, we're just going to go with what we've got at the moment. Uh, and we got a guest that's too angry. I don't care how good people say the zoo is, it's not worth the price of admission. Do I look like I'm made of money? You have $74, Chavan. Chavon? Chavon. $74, and the tickets cost five. Sheesh. Yeah, and you can tra track tasks, and you can track specific things. So, someone, someone is hungry. Also, a exhibit doesn't have... Right? Alright. Gonna slow it down again, and we're gonna move Echo here. You're gonna move over to this exhibit. Get some water trough. Yeah. And so, yes... This game, you can make horrible, horrible animal hybrids in. Beings that never should have existed on God's green earth are available now at your local zoo. Now have a, have a ball to play with, you genetic abomination. So I'm pretty sure that plays into the morality here. Morality bonuses. So, you can either be good, or you can be evil. And if that's not an appealing part of a management game, I don't know what is. It is great. This zoo needs more enclosures. Your zoo needs more enclosures. I'm not made of money. Okay, so we're gonna do some research, and we're gonna get another researcher, so we, we can do the research even faster. We're going to search, and we're going to post on social media and the job portal about this one, so we get even more applicants. Are these tickets golden? The price would make you think so. Five dollars! Five dollars, people! Come on! This is not, not really big money you're spending here. And there's our little avatar, and we can change the appearance if we want. It doesn't do anything, but it's there. So we have six animals, and we've gotten 71 customers during our time open. Uh, we can also look, and we see that there's... Yeah, we can still trade with the Toronto Zoo, and now, now we can actually rescue more animals, more rabbits, and you see there are different kinds of rabbits. Uh, pig, goose... And the different kinds of rabbits and all that are going to be important when it comes to genetic splicing. Yeah. So, we've got the horses we could get, and the horses could get us snakes, and the snakes could get us wolves. And the capybaras could get us hippos. There's a lot of trading that can happen, and... Oh, someone. Uh... What do you have? If a hip hippoose? So a hippo and a goose. They're really liking to do stuff with gooses at the moment. Geese. I believe the plural is geese. So we've got an applicant. Trisha! Welcome to the job, Trisha! My friend has applied for a job here. Well, if their name's Trisha, then they got a job here. And someone gave birth. Oh, we have Ringo. Ringo the Capybara. Are the others John, Paul, and... 
George. I blanked on the name of the fourth beetle for the moment there. My dad would be ashamed of me. New drink record. So there's just a lot of details in the game that I really like here. Uh, from the... Where are the bathrooms? Oh! Yeah. Uh, sorry, guess. I haven't given you any bathrooms. Let's rectify that. Here is your bathroom. And now we've got the end of the week stuff, and we gotta pay all the salaries. We see the income, we see the profit and the expenditure, all of that. We spent a lot of money, we haven't made a lot of money, but we're still in... We still have money, so I count that as a win. And now we're gonna build a pathway to the bathroom. Okay, so now we have the genetic splicing here. So, we can pick the rabbit and snake, or we can pick the rabbit and hippo for a tiny big result. So, this is a critical choice, and we're gonna pick the rabbit and hippo, because I picked the uh, other one last time. But first things first, we're gonna make a path to the bathroom. We're also going to move this plant, because it's not going to be able to grow on that. And finally, we're going to build the CRISPR Slicer. And oh dear lord, is this... Uh, can we not... can we not buy it? There we go. And we're going to hire Jacqueline to oversee that. And we might move it back a little bit. So we can do other stuff. Finish that. Yeah, it, at the moment I've got it at ridiculous speed. That's why. That's why it's being a little overwhelming at the moment. But we've got the crisper slicer, and now we can get working on a DNA pair. And we get the hippo, and we got the rabbit. Four days to complete that. It'll be a very, very nice abomination. Own four hybrid animals. So we're we're getting closer to that. And we can build another exhibit uh, after I do some research. So we can research toilets. We've got a restroom, but we could also do toilets. We also have a balloon shop available. And we got five points left. I'm gonna go for some of the smaller things and keep that, keep these going. I'm curious if you're actually able to research everything in this little, this, uh, is it a square? I, yeah, a square before the end of the time. I wasn't able to last time, but I got a second researcher earlier this time, so I think it might actually be possible. And once again, we are definitely losing money overall, but if the guests are happy, I'm happy. Enrichment. Someone's... something's low on enrichment. The capybaras aren't happy with the amount of enrichment, so we're gonna give them another ball. You happy now? They are. Sometimes you gotta just... get things around. Higher. Who am I supposed to hire? One of your employees. What what doesn't have who doesn't have an employee? Is it the slushy shop? Is it Alright. Wait, I thought I had someone here. I I I do. I have someone who works there. Yeah, Jacqueline. Jacqueline works there. At market rate. I'll say. So yeah, this is early beta, so there's gonna be bugs, there's gonna be little things that are off, but I think for an early beta, I it's a great time. Why is... The horse goose is hissing, and the horse part is on top, it should be neighing. Eh, uh, well. They're still saying I should hire someone. I, I really don't know. Let's look at the park staff. Yeah, we've got a geneticist, we've got two shopkeepers, we've got two researchers, we've got a janitor, we've got an animal keeper. I don't know what they want from me. 
And this is the utility map, so we've got the utility, and then we got the decoration. So I haven't decorated pretty much at all here. So nothing much to to do there. Uh, I am going to build a new enclosure, and we're going to do it up here, closer to the genetics lab where that thing is going to be coming from. So yeah, I, I think for the most part, I have covered all the important details of the game. It's a... It is a fun game that I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with the... with the main game when it comes out, because there's still not a release date for it at the moment. Not sure the reason for that, but... And they're telling me to add animals, but... I'm just doing, just doing that. And we've got Bandit the Rabbit. So they had Bandit, they have Bullet, they got a lot of ones. Yes, I know there's no animals there. I'm just trying to... We're, we're gonna get them. Two days. In two days we'll have them. And that birth actually got us our tenth animal. It's good, we have a lot of research points. Gotta keep up with all of the research here. We're gonna research more benches. Uh, so, 6, 11, 14, 19, 23. I think, I think we are, we're gonna be able to research everything this time. Am I gonna use pretty much any of it? No, but the publicity is good. Yeah, and the park ring rating, so we've got facilities, we've got animals, we've got attractiveness, and we got publicity. And at the moment, only attractiveness is actually kind of doing anything there, but it's fine. And we can also raise the ticket prices. That $5, come on, that's, that's way too cheap. We're going to do it $8, and more people are going to be annoyed. Yep, see, we got someone who said, I thought the tickets would be cheaper. I am not paying that much to enter a zoo. Okay, Joycelyn. They've got some interesting names for, for our crowd here. And you can do the same selecting any of the, the guests if you can actually manage it. Come on, stay still. Stay still. Oh, fine. Oh, I selected the capybara. Here we go. Palma. Energy's low, sanitation's low, hydration's low, bathroom's fine, animals is good, attractions. Well, I can't build any attractions. That's not a... Not something I can do in this one. There's a... It's a limited capacity here. So yeah, we have the balloon chump in place. The capybaras are all happy. The the monster that is the goose horse hybrid is there. And now we have a new hippo rabbit hybrid that's going to live in this village, in this enclosure up here. And oh my god, look at it. Joy. Well, that's quite the name for for a, a mistake of nature. And we can see that the enclosure capacity is acceptable. We can see genetic history. There, there are some issues with cl clicking these things up here. I think it's partially because of the early beta version text tree there. So we can see the family tree. We can see profitability. The species info, ideal living conditions, savanna. Yeah, we don't, we don't have savanna here. We have grass, and it's going to be happy about it because that's all we got. And now we have the research points to finish off the research tree here with, I think, a couple of days to spare. Now we have researched everything possible in the beta version, so. What are we going to do? Uh, let's just fire all the staff. Uh, sure, payload. And we'll 
fire you as well. Yeah, this doesn't do anything, but there. And now, it's the last day. And that's pretty much it. We At the moment, we got to 200 customers, which is great. Got $3,000 from that. So yeah, there's... When you don't have an issue there, and look at that, where our morality has gone down because I fired those, those employees, and you got union pressure. There's just a lot of details of the game you wouldn't expect, and I'm really looking forward to dealing with a morality system in this, because, I mean, all of us who grew up with Zoo Tycoon, we have some questionable moral decisions that we've gone through. But yeah, that is the beta for Let's Build a Zoo. I'm looking forward to seeing what the full release looks like, and I hope that it is similarly deep and fun. And there's a lot of trampolining capybaras around. So, I hope you enjoyed this look at the game, and that you maybe check out any content that comes from the game moving forward so hope you enjoyed leave a like if you did comment below your thoughts and subscribe to keep following the channel for more videos like this maybe some scripted ones or my let's play on football tactics and glory have a great day and happy gaming <laughs>